this was an entertaining ball game. Big crowd from Dillon and Pauly's Island to see this one. And it looked like early on it was going to be a laugh for top of the fifth, Aaron Bailey. See you later. Third homer for Dillon. It's 8 nothing. Then still in the fifth, two on for Tara Grimsley. Remember, she was the kicker for Dillon's football state championship squad. She drives two runs home. It's 10 nothing. And now Waccamaw's three outs away from being mercy ruled a loss. But the Warriors don't give up. Hallie Butler, a two-run single is part of a four-run inning. It's 10-4. to four. And then things get real interesting in the bottom of the sixth because Milena Moore, see you later, three-run homer. It's 10-8. And then Waccamaw had the tying run at the plate. But here's Darby Hamer getting the last out of the game, and Dylan hangs on. Two very good softball teams that should go deep in the postseason. 10 to 8 is your final. Dylan gets the win over Waccamaw. Waccamaw is a very good team, but um, Dylan, I had to say, we worked hard, we kept up, and we've been practicing very hard. So even though it got tense, we stayed up and we pulled it through. We know that Waccamaw is a great team. They're never going to quit. They're never going to say die. So it does help us prepare for other tense games when you know it's coming down to the line.